We haven't seen uh, like T1 it. versus Genji's main roster yet. I think that there will be a little bit of teething, but I actually think it's going to be super hype. I, I think it's going to be a 3 2. Ruler has been playing so well. No more Ruler. The Ruler spot is now actually a trap. Every time you think <laughs> that he's caught, he's actually not. Now Hoya tries to get into the back line. Ruler does lock down the kill onto Kellen. Peanut taking a fair bit of damage. He still has the Onslaught of Shadows and Soft Arm. Goes Golden Hoya. Now just trying to stand in front of him. The knockback. Soft Arm out of mana completely. Jovi finds the Orb of Deception and picks up that kill. But Canyon is still standing. Flashes Doran. Going to flash away from him. It's a one fight for Gen Z. Wait from the mid laner here as now fight down to the bottom side. Guma trying to go 1v1 against him and will be able to pull it off. The game's into her. The poke is good though. As uh, there's that stopwatch value. Yeah. Stopwatch comes in. Carry immediately dies afterwards as here is the engage. Akali dies. Everybody dies on the side of Guangdong Freaks. Will they get Zeus at the end of the day? No, they will not. T1 will pick up the 3-0 tonight and move on to the final. Down below half as well. The wonder on that front line can land a lot of hope with shock blast accelerating gate combination. The dragon doing a bit of work here for Fnatic as well. Yankov going back and forth away. Wonder just melts him down. Dragon secured by Fnatic as well, as is the fight. Broken Blade, what can you do against the might that's Fnatic? Humanoid has risen to the title of king here in Europe. Back to back title holder. Slatton tries to stay alive, Cullen goes in, Slatton down, Vito pops a stopwatch, but he will fall as well, you have the feel he gets one in response, and it's all on Neon, but what can he do into the face of three? And I mean, we're, we're, we're way better vibes now, and like, we just trust each other, it's like so easy to play, but last year we didn't trust each other. To pull off a more exciting play, last one all that was required was the ward hop. Summit here just continues to push in our top side and with the oh, whole breaker. Oh, flashes for it, throws him into the wall, oh, he even drives uh, an ultimate out of it. Is anything in that process, at least. Summit again facing off against Faith God, slicing Maelstrom thrown down. A few more autos should do it, one after the flash and Summit on fire. Basically every trade that we saw was a Summit victory. Another uh, double cleanse AD Grey situation. And now with the Malphite coming in with the ulti, this could be enough to kill Summit. Flash into the brush, will he get away? Flash to follow, oh, and someday! Oh, oh, oh. This is the best game I feel like we've seen from them all split long. Yes. Are you the hunter or the prey? Oh, this is tragic from FPX. And in goes Fozik. Try and one shot of the VX. Flashes over the wall. He actually gets out with it. Clint will go for the ult. He finishes him off, but it's too little. That's the Realm War from LNG, but the Elder Dragon's already down. Look at the Moonlight Vigil. They're moving forward. They want those flaps. They want the Elder Dragon. They want double Elim. That's LNG, the fourth seed of the LPL. The seven win streak at the beginning of the season means nothing. LNG season will be over because of Top Esports, because of the momentum that this team has shown, and they are showing up for playoffs.